This is Dustin with this week's NSS Tip of the Week, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, getting better not just in the gym, but outside of the gym. Uh, one of the things that I did this last year was I wanted to get better, uh, or to read a little bit more than I have in the past. I keep track of how many books I read each year, and the last five years I've averaged anywhere between 11 and 19 books. And I wanted to make a run at a little bit higher number, uh, just to push a little bit more education in 2015. I did it with a very specific system that I'm going to share with you guys today that I think you guys will be able to use some or all of to help you guys reach some of those reading goals you may have in 2016. Uh, step one for it is basically have a book with you at all times. So within arm's reach always be able to pull a book out and read it because even 10 to 15 minutes while you're waiting for the kids uh, adds up over the years or over the year. Uh, I'm, step two is I'm always reading four books at a time. Uh, how I do that is I have one hard copy book that I'm reading for enjoyment. I have one hard copy book that I'm reading for personal and professional development. I always have an audible book going or an audio book going from audible.com. And then I always have a Kindle book going for if I'm somewhere where I can't use a light to read so that I can read um, even if I'm sitting with the kids in the dark. Uh, I had mentioned a audiobook. I use audible.com because you get a pretty sweet deal on audiobooks from them and it's a great way to get in some reading uh, while you're mowing the lawn, while you're snow blowing, while you're uh, cleaning the garage, any of those tasks that normally you're just kind of uh, plodding away at. It's a nice way to continue getting some reading or education in while you're driving anywhere. You'd be surprised at how many uh, books you can get done in a year just on those 10 to 15 minute trips to the grocery store. Um, also, don't be afraid to finish a book. Okay? Or to, sorry, don't be afraid to not finish a book. If you get into a book and it's not exciting to you and it's kind of dragging you down, instead of just avoiding reading at all because you feel like you have to finish that book, put it aside for a little bit. Come back to it later if you want to or if you don't, just let it be. You don't have to finish every single book you start. They're not all great books. Uh, and then finally, the last thing that I did this year was I outsourced my reading deadlines. I, we started two uh, NSS book clubs here so that I would have a external deadline that I had to meet to read a few pages a week to make sure that I was ready for the next time we sat down and, and uh, met. And it, that was an easy way for me to keep accountability, uh, but not having to hold myself accountable. I let somebody else hold me accountable. Um, so those are five ways that I used, and again, I went this last year, I went from reading 19 books the year previous to I actually was able to read 45 books this year. Now, I'm not expecting a huge jump or a huge number this year, but if my schedule allows it and I have the time to read, it's going to be interesting to see where that takes me. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and you get a chance to give it a shot. If you guys read any great books, feel free to pass them along. Thank you.